have entered the realm of the truth. Make it the truth. If you tell it, know what it is. If you clean, declare your name. Whichever way it go, it'll definitely be the truth. What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, a.k.a. the Queen of Paperwork, and I am back with another video. As always, all information contained in this video is for entertainment educational purposes only. All information used in this video is per the Fair Use Act, and any conclusion that you draw is on you, not me. So let's get it. Oh, my. Let me tell y'all, okay? It's like the past couple of weeks has been young and days. It's been 1090J. Now it's Fredo Bang, and let me tell you, I, I'm going to get to that, okay? I'm just going to get to that in a minute, okay? Now, Trap Lord Ross drops Fredo Bang's statement in the NBA Youngboy documentary, or is it a documentary? I haven't even watched the whole thing, but nevertheless, it woke me up in the middle of the night because guess what? Mr. Music 101 himself had the audacity, okay, to hit me up and say, hey, I know you lying. Let me find out you got paid from Fredo. Trap Lord Ross posted paperwork in his video where Fredo cooperated in a case. How you give him a certificate? So I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pay attention to what you just said in a case. Is it the case I covered? Nope. Don't get like these viewers. Then he said, LOL. Okay, straight. Then I was just finna go live titled Mickey Truth was paid to cover up Fredo Bay snitching. All the disrespect, the disrespect, the disrespect, man. It's definitely up with music on 101, man. Y'all go follow him for sure. Now, listen, I ain't gonna lie. I was looking at it like, no way. Ain't no way Fredo Bang gave no statement, okay? Not no snitching. Like, what, what are we talking about? Ain't no way. I'm like, is my read of people off? You know what I'm saying? So, did Trap Lord Ross uncover something that I missed? That is the question, okay? And I mean, I mean, come on, Fredo Bang. I know better. I know better, right? Or do I? I mean, maybe I don't, okay? I hit up Fredo Bang immediately. I ain't gonna lie. I said, please tell me the statement is fake in that video. And dang, I just realized. And I sent <laughs> that music one-on-one thing -on -one to me. <laughs> Shout out to music one-on-one, -on -one, okay? So Fredo Bang said, you ain't look at that? And I ain't gonna cap y'all. Technically, I didn't. I saw it from music and I sent it straight out. <laughs> I ain't even try to verify it. So maybe I overreacted or did I? So, I took a closer look at it. I read, you know, the things, and I'm like, okay. Key points that stood out, interview the day after shooting. The party was uh, for his birthday, and then I just realized that is missing some letters. But anyway, okay, he was standing next to Simmons and Claiborne when the shooting occurred. He got a slight glimpse of the shooter. He did not see the shooter's face. Received message from female he didn't know about the shooting, okay? Now, I'm going to be honest. I heard it, and I was like, hold up. That kind of sounds familiar. And then I had to recall. And y'all know when I do um, content on, on rappers, I definitely review their interviews in the past. And I reviewed this particular interview. And Fredo Bang actually talks about his a close friend to him being murdered at his show slash his birthday party. So definitely stuck out to me. So with that, close friend Crazy Trey is among four killed at Fredo Bang's birthday party in 2014. And I need to correct that. It's actually... Three were killed. One actually survived, okay? So my apologies for that mishap and thing, but we're already in there, okay? Now, the murder case against Nakedron Williams, a.k.a. Scrappy, okay? He was 16 years old at the time. In that same Vlad interview, Fredo Bain does say a juvenile was being held or got charged in connection of this case, okay? Now, I was able to locate the actual case itself, so, we're going to get to the business. Now, again, like I said, three murders, one attempted murder, okay? Now, motion for discovery, okay? And I'm going to tell y'all this. Like I said before, when I covered Fredo Bain, when I covered NBA Youngboy, I told y'all then, in Louisiana, they do provide you the full discovery if you request it. So, I was able to comb through the discovery piece by piece by piece. 337 pages to be exact. And I did it three times. So I have reviewed technically a thousand pages in regards to this case to look for, guess what? This snitching statement or what not that music one on one said. All right. Now, I'm like, okay, it's not too far fetched to hear Fredo Bane name when it's a Fredo Bane birthday party, right? 
Now, one of the witnesses, right, state that Fredo Bain, or excuse me, Frederick Gibbons, a.k.a. Fredo, banker, high school band member, is a person who had asked slash hired him to DJ at this party for him. Hive stated that Gibbons also has a rock rap group. So, again, we now know, we have set the foundation that this is Fredo Bain's party to some degree because, hey, he's getting a DJ and stuff. I mean, regular party goers don't ask for a DJ for a party, okay? Now, also, this witness stated that he attempted to gather information about the shooting while he was outside the building to no avail. He stated that the only person he really knew at the party was DJ Black, Givens, and Angela. Hobbs stated that he was unsuccessful in contacting Givens after the shooting. I mean, Givens probably was gone. I'm just saying. I mean, I know I would have got the hell out of this. I'm out damn shooting. But anyway, now, it further goes on to say here. That the police got to the scene. It was a large crowd of people panicking, screaming, running. Which, I mean, I ain't shocked to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people said, hey, is the shooter here? Is it like, what's going on? Whatever, right? Now, they do have a boatload of potential witnesses there, okay? Because people are still on the scene. One in particular said, hey, I'm standing right next, okay? Next to the shooter. Like, this is what he had on. This is all that. So, like, it was people there to definitely you know, identify the alleged shooter in the case. Multiple, you know, provided that. Now, another witness in the case stated that Coco and Fredo, witness Frederick Gibbons, were together, and that Coco was acting belligerent, confrontational towards others, bucking, flipping people off. Bailey stated that he eventually engaged in a physical confrontation with Coco. Bailey stated that he asked the security guards to address Coco belligerent behavior, which were to no avail. Bailey stated that Coco exited the building. And you might be like, well, who the fuck is Coco? Well, Coco is one of the victims in the case that actually survived, okay? And what was important about that is this. It is in that document, right? Um, they are stating that Fredo Bain was with other people. So we had to put names on the people, okay? Now... It does say here that more people provided information about what was going on. Now, there were like again, there were a lot of witnesses, okay? One in particular that stood out to me when I looked at the document that was in or the paper that was in Trap Lord Ross's video, okay? It says a female that Fredo Bain did not know reached out to him on IG. Aja Mott, right, is listed in the document, right? And it says that her brother AJ was picked out as an alleged suspect too in this shooting by other people or another person who eventually was tied to the shooter. But anyway, that's a whole nother story, right? So it says, Frederick Gibbons and Audra Mott's Instagram accounts were obtained. Messages slash posts from Audra to Frederick's account was not recovered. The wrong account information was received in request for Audra's account. Nothing of evidentiary value was discovered. This information was submitted into evidence, okay? And it says on Wednesday, April 30th, 2014, I drafted a search warrant for Frederick Gibbons, Fredo underscore Bain, and Aja Monts underscore Aja underscore Instagram accounts. On the same day at approximately 16.05 hours, the aforementioned search warrants were presented to and endorsed. Da, 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 keep going on, on, on. And again, it was not recovered, okay? So it says the account information via email, the post from Aja to Frederick Gibbons on March 29th, 2014, was not recovered, okay? And it says that the police sent the wrong account for Aja. So, why did that stand out to me? Because in that paper, it said that it was a message received, okay? I mean, that's what it said. So, boom, I found that in the paperwork. Now, the question is this, though, okay? Fredo Bang get hit, hit up, okay, with a message, with a picture, come to find out, right, of the shooter. A picture of the shooter, Okay? Now, the question is, with all that, that still don't mean he gave a statement. So, did Fredo Bain provide a statement? Well, I will tell you this. Fredo Bain is listed as a witness on this case, right? Now, what I want to point out is to this. This is his birthday party, for sure, right? But he is listed under a witness tab, right? It does say here, photos of text, okay? And Instagram messages from Frederick Givens' phone, or Elf Givens' phone, okay? And it said Frederick Gibbons Instagram account records. All right. Now again, that doesn't mean he made a statement. 
Now, I will say this. No statements by Frederick Givens is included in the discovery. So out of 337 pages, no statements with Frederick Givens' name on it is not there. Okay? Now, what are my thoughts about it? I'm going to say this. Do I feel like he may have definitely had to speak to authority? For sure. Okay? Frederick um, Givens, a.k.a. Fredo Bang. I don't know why I was about to call him by his government name. But anyway, <laughs> Fredo Bang would have been 18 at this time. Okay? I mean, he would have had to say something. Now, what do I feel he said? He he probably could have said, like, yeah, I, yeah, it was a shooting. I don't know who it actually was. I mean, I seen, you know, whatever, whatever. Now, again, what is that? I would probably say that's not snitching. I mean, again, like, what did you, like, what did you say? Did you say he was five? So, you know, but I know y'all going to have y'all own thoughts. Up, so, y'all let me know. Is that, you know, telling or whatever but again? No statements was found in the discovery at all. Now, this is what the statements look like on this case. So this is what I want to point out also. Now, again, I don't know what the word trap lord fault um Ross, I said false. Ross put in his video. However, but if you go into the discovery um pages through by and rules police department, this is what the statements look like. You see how it says statement of Trey Edwards, and then it says witness, and then go into everything they said. That looks nothing like that nothing at all and then i see like certain words is bold like i ain't gonna lie i wasn't too sure about that document but i still did my research y'all know mickey truth definitely gonna do her part because y'all know y'all won't be like oh you're being selected because it's fredo bang nah i did my thing now it's another frederick on this case also um right and that's frederick gross and i only use him well, for one, because his name is Frederick, <laughs> but for two, to show what it looks like. So you see how you have the personal, the person information, right? And then you have the actual uh, statement. Now, in this case, this guy actually um, left before everything popped off. But nevertheless, you know, I just want to compare to you what's what and how it shows who the officers are and all. Now, again. I, I probably, I might be in, I don't know, Fredo Bang might be like, you know what, Mickey, <laughs> you be just trying to come at me <clears throat> too, too much. Because he's like, yo, what names I spoke on, whatever, whatever. Now, <laughs> I may have, I may have just lost my first celebrity uh, friend, okay? <laughs> but nevertheless, I did not find anything with names on it, even the statement itself. I mean, the paper in the video of trap lord ross doesn't even say he provided any names at all doesn't say anything besides yeah um i was by it you know i think it was like a dark hoodie i mean again he ain't even make it to a statement level with the police i don't know but like i said 337 pages is available to the public y'all can go take a look at it if you don't take my word for it go look it up you know um and take a look at it so with that being said i'm gonna say this i definitely don't feel like fredo bang snitch i'm gonna say that um what i feel is why well, make more issues for yourself you are the person that's responsible for the party three people are killed one person is severely wounded okay police come talk to you are you gonna say oh, i don't know now i ain't talking to y'all whatever whatever that's going to make more problems for you. And if you do not know, I have said it before, Fredo Bang has been getting in trouble since he was a teenager, just like a lot of other um, Baton Rouge um, rappers that we know. So with that being said, do I think he had to speak with police? Yes. Do I think he provided any permanent information to the police? No. Do I think he snitched? No. But y'all let me know what y'all think in, in my comments and let me know because I know y'all going to be vocal. Hey. Tell me what you think. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend to pull up on your girl, Mickey Truth. And as always, go over to MickeyTruth.com and get you that merch because you know your girl stay with that work. So until next time, holla. Yeah, they be like, who is this Mickey Truth girl? Who qualifies her to put a work on these people? Hey, oh, oh. Yeah, I'd rather be real in the street any day. Mickey talks, Mickey talks the truth, truth. Okay. Mickey shows, okay. Mickey shows, Mickey shows the proof, proof. Hey.